Steve here from Build Your Website. In this video we're going to talk about hosting costs and to be more specific we're going to talk about hosting costs for a typical small business uh, like a restaurant, a plumber, hair salon, uh, electrician, consultant, businesses of that uh, type. Now those kind of small businesses typically employ less than 20 people but it's not really the number of employees in the in the company that's um, the criteria it's the number of visitors to the website and the more visitors to the website then generally the more sophisticated the hosting becomes and the more expensive the hosting becomes you can't just consider hosting on its own um, you also need a domain name and for most small businesses they're going to be using what's called shared hosting and I cover shared hosting exactly what it means or what it does in another video it's the choice for most small businesses and it's the one I use on on my websites hosting on a shared host costs about eight dollars a month and a domain name costs about ten to sixteen dollars a year and you'll find that you get introductory offers that uh, reduce that for normally for the first six months maybe for the first year you're talking of a total cost of approximately 106 dollars or uh, 78 uh, pounds uh, uk pounds most uh, providers will actually include a free domain name so usually you can get rid of the domain name costs and so it's it's reduced by uh, 10 16 dollars a year and i'm going to show you now a few examples i'm going to show you an exam example packages on on bluehost and example packages on, on one and one and those are the two hosting providers i actually use now i'm in the shared hosting page or on the shared hosting page let's say for Bluehost and you can see here it's showing me three packages here and um, we start off with the basic package and you should notice here that it's actually reduced by two per night to 295 per month uh, I think this is for the first year or and it goes up to uh, 799 which is eight dollars a month uh, after that and you can see the plus package again reduces an introductory offer and it goes up to 11 etc now what's the difference in the packages and which one do you need now um, I recommend you start with the basic package most providers will actually let you or let you um, upgrade to a more expensive package at a later date if you find that you need it and the basic package certainly has all the features and all the capabilities you need to host a, a standard WordPress website uh, for a small business so let's go now and have a look at the one-on-one -on -one, and you can see they do a very similar thing and you can see that they also have an introductory offer and uh, this one is 12 months it does say there so we're very cheap less than a pound per month for the first 12 months and it goes up to 4.99 which is five pounds and again if we go down there we can see all the different features of the packages and again um, the basic package should be enough for most most small businesses it's the one I actually use on on one on one and again uh, one on one will let you upgrade to a more expensive package at a later date if you need it now when I created my first website back in 2003 2004 these were the only choices you had available and websites those days were built using HTML templates or PHP templates. Now today WordPress has become incredibly popular and it's one I use on all of my sites and the hosting providers have adapted accordingly and they've started offering um, dedicated WordPress packages. Uh, what that means is that you only install WordPress on that package whereas with any of these packages here you can install a variety of things on this package including WordPress but on the dedicated WordPress package you can normally only have WordPress and they tend to offer um, more support and they offer um, upgrades and they offer uh, maintenance options on, on those packages but they do tend to be more expensive than the the standard packages if I show you on on one and one and then quickly on Bluehost the the WordPress options that you have now here's the one and one options uh, you've got the again basic plus and unlimited uh, and it's called manage WordPress you can see the prices are actually very similar to the standard uh, website packages but you can only have WordPress on this you can't have 
other things on there. Uh, on one on one, incidentally, you can actually install WordPress on the basic package. That, that's not the basic WordPress package, that's just the basic package, the one I showed you earlier. And then you can actually, as part of the install, you can tick a little box and you can move it to manage WordPress. But that's on one on one. Whether or not you need uh, manage WordPress is really a, a choice that you have to make is do you feel comfortable with WordPress do you want to manage it yourself now what they offer extra on here you can see they have automatic security updates pre-installed plugins um, this can be a bit of a problem because often they won't let you install other plugins so if you decide you need another plugin they won't let you do it because that's the way they can guarantee the security by managing the plugins and again, you've got expert support, WordPress expert, expert support on this. On Bluehost, um, it tends to be uh, quite a lot more expensive. And you can see here the, the basic package is starting at um, $20 a month and going all the way up to roughly $50 a month. And you can see exactly what you've got there. Now, should you go for managed WordPress or dedicated WordPress? Well, that's a, a choice you you really need to make yourself um, what I have and what I what I run on my sites I run all my sites on the basic package I, I have hosting with Bluehost and I have hosting with with one on one and I use the basic package and I install WordPress myself into that package and I manage WordPress myself on that package I manage my own plugins and my, my own my own updates and if you do it that way then hosting roughly is I would say eight pound a month and roughly hundred dollars dollars a year or about 80 pounds a year and if you go to the managed option or the dedicated WordPress option then you can see you'll be paying considerably more uh, for that option okay uh, I hope this video helped um, if you go to the website You'll find some tutorials that you might find useful, um, one on website hosting and you'll find on the tutorial more details about the features provided by the hosting providers and whether you need them and what they, what they actually do. You'll also find a review on Bluehost and a review on one on one. As I say, those are the two providers that I actually used. Uh, that's why I recommend them. I don't say they're the best providers, but they're the ones that I know and the ones that I've been using now since around 2003-2004. Okay, so that's the end of the video. As I say, I hope you found it useful. If you have any comments, then you can use the comment form below. If you like the video, then you can use the like button below. If you want to be informed of new videos when I post them on the channel, then you can subscribe to the channel. If you do go over to the website, then there's also a newsletter uh, that I publish occasionally. And if you're interested, you can subscribe to that. That's the end of the video. Until next time, bye.